Hi, my name is Deep Patel, and uh, I'm a D365 consultant here at Turnkey Tech. Um, and today I will be walking you through data management. It's a tool uh, in D365 FNO, and it's pretty useful for when you are migrating from a legacy system to a newer system, to FNO. It, it helps to, it, it makes it easier for you to transfer data, uh, master data from your legacy system to the uh, FNO. And there's two main ways of doing it, and I'll show both of them today. Uh, the first one is the data management. Uh, data management, it's a workspace, uh, and it through you use that tool to import and export uh, files, F, uh, Excel files, um, from uh, Excel files for for uploading data. Uh, the main thing in that is the data entities, which are basically the tables. Um, uh, data entities could be customers, zip codes, vendors, um, anything anything related to master data that you want to bring it over. Um, data project is a, basically it contains all your information for that specific uh, entity. They will have the mapping uh, and some other default options. Data job history is uh, it's is where uh, you can see the previous job history, uh, the previous exports and imports that you have done. Um, and the data package is basically, uh, let's say you performed an import or an export and you download a file but you lost it somehow. And you can always go back in there and uh, download data package. It's a zip file which will download automatically, and then you can extract it and get the file that you need. Um, now, this is how the data management workflow looks like. Um, over here, you have all the data projects. So let's say you created a data project, but you didn't run it. So it's it will be uh, you can see it over here, and you can always go back, come back here, and run the project. So import or export, either way. Uh, over here, this is your job history, like I was telling telling you. Uh, over here, you can see the history or the execution details of that specific uh, data data job that you uh, did import or export. Um, and then over here, these are the two key buttons that you would normally use for importing or exporting. Once you click on those, it will directly take you to uh, the execution page for import or export. And then over here are the, all the data entities, um, i.e. all the tables that you could possibly uh, uh, populate with data and bring it over. Now this is the file. So once you like or see you can tell it's an export job so I just clicked on that export button in the previous page and then it will bring me over here um, over here you add the entity uh, the data entity for example I've added states if I want to bring your states and then over here is the map so you can see what how it, the mapping works from the flat file or the Excel file to to FNO uh, columns or tables um, this is how uh, mapping looks like. So it's uh, it goes. So this was from the source, your Excel file, and uh, or it could be any other source that you're using. Um, I primarily use Excel, and this is how, what's the column name in uh, in FNO. And here is the mapping details. So you can give it instructions if you want to leave something blank or ignore some values. You could adjust that here. Um, uh, now, this is the other way of doing it through Excel. For example, I have here uh, vendors. So let's say you only want to add a few, three or four vendors, but you don't want to do a whole data job, and you also don't want to add them manually. So what you could do is you could click uh, click the Open in Excel button over. Uh, you can click this button over here, and it will have an Open in Excel option. You click the vendors, and you can download the Excel file. And once you download the Excel file and you open it up, it will look something like this. And uh, over here, you can edit this data uh, if you want. Let's say you just want to edit a few data. You can edit it, and then you can re uh, publish it. So it will uh, automatically update FNO. And uh, if you want to you want to add new data, you can add new lines here and, again, hit Publish. 
Uh, but let's say you want to, there's, there's a column here that you want, but it's not in here. So what you could do is go to design and you can add a column uh, from that, the, from the available options and then you can uh, include that data as well. So this is just a default columns that uh, you can put in, but uh, like I said, it, you can always design your own template so you can add more columns to it, but from the choice that it's given. Um, now that I've given you a brief introduction about how you can bring data over, um, let's move on to FNO. Uh, now this is your dashboard. Um, just go to data management workspace and like I said this is your workspace. So let's say if you want to export something. So let's I'll show you an export job. You add, let's say I want to take out cities. And you just add the entity. The key is to find the exact entity that you need. Uh, you can always do a search and uh, it will but let's say you cannot locate your entities, you can always go here and filter and find out or filter and let's say contains a certain specific word that you know and it will bring it over and you can select it from there. Now you click add and once it's added you can see the map mapping. So this is how the CD key is to CD key and then the country region ID is to so this is how it shows you this is how it is in my Excel. It is how it's going to be in the Excel file and this is how the, sorry, this is the entity, the source, and then this is the target. Um, you go back there and then you just simply hit export and uh, let's refresh. And it gives you an alert that it's been done. And then let's go to the standard view. And then over here it shows you the total processed and then how many entries are in the in the Excel file. So you can simply just download the file from here and that's how you export um, stuff out of FNO. Now let's do an import. So similarly I'll just click import. Let's say I want to import um, states and I will find the state entity, data entity and uh, you want to select the source that you have. I'm using Excel so I'll select Excel and then upload and add and then I have it saved here. You click that, close and then simply just hit import and let's refresh it. So now it's telling me that these are the total that amount, the total lines that were processed. These are the ones that were updated and these are the new ones that it added to it. So uh, you can even use this to, let's say you want to edit, uh, you can also use this as well for Let's say you have certain states, but you want to name them differently. You can always uh, down export it out, make changes in Excel, and bring it back up here uh, and import it again to see the changes. This is how you do import and export in uh, via using data management tool for in uh, FNO. Now, the second way I'm going to show you is uh, how to use do it well, opening it in Excel. So now here I have all the vendors. Um, let's say you only want to add like two or three vendors or you want to edit a few ones and you don't want to do it manually. In the side of the systems, what you could do is click this button up here, open in Microsoft Office vendors and you hit the download button and then you open the file. Enable editing and it's, uh, let's see, it's processing. Now you can see, so this is all the data in, these are all the current vendors that we have, the demo. This is the demo data, so these are all the current vendors we have in our demo environment. Um, 
And uh, like I said, you can always design. Let's say I want to add a column here. Um, I can select this, sorry, add fields. And then you can add whatever fields you like from here. Um, currently, I don't need to add anything. So, but you could add here, and then basically, it's not going to let me add it. And then you just click done, and it should be done. And it will add another column here uh, at the end once you are done with it. Uh, exit it out. But now, let's say I want to edit a few things. Um, Let's say I want to change this number code to zero, add extra zero in a couple of these. And I want to add a new one there. So basically I'll just copy the organization from there and I'll add the name of the vendor. Say account number US dash nine zero zero one. And then You can add the group, say 10, and USD. Now that I've added that, I will just hit refresh. Oops, shoot. Should I publish? Oops. And then you hit publish. And it's done. You just close it out. And then once you go back in the FNO here, and that when there will be created right here at the bottom. So this is, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you already have uh, data, you can always copy and paste it. If you have multiple lines, you can copy and paste in Excel and just hit publish button and it will just come back in FNO and refresh it and it will, uh, you can see the data that you just populated in those Excel lines. But the key is to hit the publish button um, and then it will automatically uh, bring in the data. And uh, these are the two easiest ways to bring data over or make edits in your data, um, master data, or any kind of data that you want to do. And then even the Excel lines, you can also use it while, let's say, you have a journal, journal. So let's say you have a new journal. Oops, not that one. Journal, journal, lines. And then let's say you have um, daily journal and then you have a lot of lines in there you don't want to type them manually you can do the same thing open it in Excel um, copy paste all those and then just hit publish and then it will populate it will add the lines the, whatever let's say you had 20 lines it will add all the 20 lines here and then you can post it whatever you have to do um, with that journal and uh, this is how you basically bring in data via either you can open it in Excel or you can use a data management tool to import and export.